flow. Well, one of Vermont's popular ski resorts took its next step to becoming a year-round destination. One, two, three. Senior Senator Patrick Leahy joined state and local leaders for a groundbreaking today at Jay Peak. The ceremony kicked off construction for the new hotel and state-of-the-art water park. It's the latest phase in Jay Peak's $100 million redevelopment project, and already luxury suites, an ice arena, and golf clubhouse are finished. This is our home. This is where we like to be. This is where we want to be. But we also want to see Vermonters employed. We're going to be offering people wonderful amenities for the rest of the season. And I think it shows confidence that we have in our company and in our community. Working in regards to the the Jay Peak Resort president says he expects to finish the entire project by spring 2012. Well, this is great news for an area with, unfortunately, the highest unemployment rate in Vermont. Area leaders say Jay Peak's multi-million dollar project is a huge financial boost for the Northeast Kingdom. Fox 44's Brandon Hudson explains. Hi, how are you? Summers at the Jay Country Store in Jay, Vermont are not as busy as the winters. That's because the cold attracts thousands of folks to Jay Peak Ski Resort. It's a real asset for us. It really helps our business tremendously. Store manager Joyce Crawford says sales more than quadruple during ski season. In the next year or two, business may stay that way year-round. Three. On Wednesday, Vermont's state and congressional leaders moved dirt on Jay Peak's latest phase in their $100 million redevelopment project, a project that gives a much-needed economic boost to the Northeast Kingdom. I'm excited about the whole growth thing. I, I think the water park is going to be a great for the area. Talking to some of the business owners, um, we're finding that there's a real feeling of... In addition to the money Jay Peak's projects will pump into the economy, it will add 1,000 jobs, most of them based in an area with the highest unemployment rate in the state. Jay's success on its recent developments provide motivation for stores in towns like Newport. The businesses in Newport are getting ready for success. An excitement for business in Jay. Change is good. In Jay, Brandon Hudson, Fox 44 Local News. Tonight, New Hampshire regular.